What does it mean for atoms or ions to be isoelectronic? The answer is it has to have the same electron configuration, which really just comes down to having the same number of electrons. Here are some examples. AR, argon, is here on the periodic table. It is element number 18. It itself, when it is neutral, has 18 electrons. Great. Now, if you were to write out the electron configuration for that, it'd be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. I'm going to draw that here just to make a quick point, but I won't belabor that too much through the rest of the video. There's my electron configuration. Great. Chlorine, on the other hand, itself brings 17 electrons. It is element number 17. Its electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5, and I know that because it's one electron short of 18. Get it? Now, Cl minus the chloride ion is chlorine with 17 electrons plus a bonus electron for the minus one charge. It has 18 electrons. So you add one more electron to what was chlorine, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5, plus one extra gives you 3p6. See? Same electron configuration because they have the same number of electrons. Cl- and Ar are isoelectronic with each other. Okay? Let's try S. What's S? S is 16 electrons on its own. But it, this, this particular one, sulfide, S with a minus 2, has a bonus 2. 16 plus 2 extra electrons is also 18. So, AR and Cl minus and S minus 2 are all isoelectronic because they all have 18 electrons. Wow. Where is K on the periodic table? K is here. It brings 19 electrons with it. If I was to draw its electron configuration, I'd have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and one extra electron in my 4s. But what happens when I take an electron away? This is potassium ion. It has one less electron than it did when you take one away, you are down to 18. Oh my, I think it's going to be isoelectronic as well. And I'm right. Because when you remove electrons from an electron configuration, you always take them out of the highest N first. N is 1, N is 2, N is 3, N is 4. Take it out of that one first. That's the one. It gets chopped off. Oh, look, it's the same electron configuration as those others. Isoelectronic, same electron configuration. Great. Of these six particles, AR, Cl minus, S2 minus, and K plus all had exactly 18 electrons, so they are isoelectronic. I can keep going here. Calcium brings 20. In order to make it isoelectronic with any of these circled particles, I need to remove two electrons. So Ca with a plus two charge is also isoelectronic. Sc with a plus three charge. Ti with a plus four charge. It keeps going. And I could have gone in the reverse order as well. Phosphorus brings 15 with three extra electrons, it becomes isoelectronic with argon. P3 minus is also isoelectronic with all four of those circled ones. Get it? Got it? Good. You got questions? Ask them in the uh, comments. And uh, thanks for sticking with me. Best of luck.